Hi everyone, sorry that there have been no videos in the last few weeks. I unfortunately got COVID and that was not a fun experience for me at all. But we are finally back. For this week, I have a very quick recipe for one of the best cones you've ever had. Very simple to make and very few ingredients needed as well. Ingredients list should be up on the screen right about now, but they are always available at our website. All the details can be found in the description of this video. First off, your butter should be cold and cut into small squares. Put flour, sugar and butter together in a large bowl and with your hand work slowly at mixing the butter and flour together. Really want to be using the tips of your fingers to crumple the butter with the flour. The goal is to create a fine crumb. We don't want to melt the butter in our hands and start making dough from it, so work swiftly with that. Breaking down the butter with the flour can take a little while and it's sure to tie your forearms if you're not used to doing this. Just keep slowly working on it, continually looking around for butter chunks that are lurking around. Once you have all the butter mixed nicely with the flour, our next step is to add our wet ingredients. For this use a knife, just any flat knife would work or a fork will also work. We just want to avoid adding unnecessary heat by using our hands. Make a small crevice in the middle of the flour and that's where we'll pour our milk and vanilla. Slowly add your milk in batches and mix as best as you can. You won't end up with a whole dough in this part, your dough will end up having loose parts here and there. We'll mix everything nicely in the bins in just a second. Alternatively, you can work the dough in the bowl a little bit before you move it to the bench. In a lightly floured surface, we will work on combining the dough further. Just work slowly with it, there's no need to work the dough very hard. Keep gathering all the small parts around and adding it to your dough. Once all the stragglers are taken care of, we are done with the dough. Now we just need to get a rolling pin and roll the dough to around 2cm thickness. For the size of the scones, I'm using a 5cm cutter, but you can make them bigger obviously. Just know that the cooking times will differ slightly. With your leftover dough, don't over knead it. Just combine it as best as you can and continue to cut your scones. The more you knead it, the harder the scone will be, so keep the kneading to a minimum. You can opt to not use the dough altogether, but I feel that that is a waste, you can still get great scones out of it. If you don't have one of these ceramic reinforced trays, make sure you use baking paper to avoid the scones sticking to the baking tray. In a preheated oven to 180 degrees fan force, bake for 10 to 12 minutes. The scones should have a nice golden top on them. Depending on the oven, you may possibly take more time to cook, so look out for the golden finish. There's no need to brush your scones with egg wash or anything of the sauce, they will golden up by themselves just fine. I am of course going to enjoy them with a bit of dulce, dulce de leche and whipped cream.
maybe adding a little much, but they're just that good, what can I say? Thank you everyone for watching, hopefully I'm not getting sick anytime soon and can bring you more weekly videos that you like. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. It will help us out tremendously. Otherwise, until next week.